Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. This time we have two mods for you, and first we'll start with the Regal Huntsman armor. The author took inspiration from the Assassin's Creed series of games, and using assets from Skyrim, they've created a new set of armor that works for both genders and all races. To get it in game, you'll need to craft it, and you can find it under the iron tab at any forge. In the crafting menu, you'll notice there's a lot of different pieces, and that's because there's several variants of the armor, and there's also some extra items like belts and pouches that you'll see in just a little while. There's five colour variants in total, and they include white, red, blue, green, and black. And that's on top of the standard set, which is a mixture of different colours. The coloured variants also come with a couple of extra items, but of course they can also be equipped on the standard set. The extra items include coloured capes that also come in tattered and non-tattered variants. There's also a choice of red and green pauldrons if you prefer not to use a cape. On top of that, there's three different helmet types, including the standard hood that you've already seen, as well as a mask variant that only works on male humanoids, and a hood down version that works for everyone. There's also two additional items, a pouch that gives 50 carry weight, and sleeve blades that simply add daggers to your sleeves. So as you can probably imagine, the set is highly customizable, and there should be something for everyone. You might also notice the cultit set being used as a base for the armour, which unfortunately means you'll need the Dragonborn DLC. It also uses Dawnguard assets, so you'll need that too, but hopefully you picked it up during the recent Steam Summer Sale. All in all, it's a great late game armour set, however if you'd prefer it to be a mid game set instead, then you can also download a patch for that on the mod page. The second mod for today is a very simple one by the name of Headtrack Crosshair. The mod is very similar to the player head tracking mod we covered last year, but this mod gives you more control over where your character is looking. Once you install the mod, you'll need to head into the mod menu to activate it, and once that's done, whenever you point your crosshair at an object you can interact with, whether it be a container, an item, or an NPC, your character's head will turn in that direction. Despite their similarities, you can use both head tracking mods together to get the best of both worlds. So you can use the automatic head tracking system from the older mod, but then take control at any time using the crosshair mod. We definitely recommend doing that too, so you can take advantage of the original mod's other features like the extra facial expressions and more. So we'll include a link for both mods down below. And that's really all there is to it. It's a great simple mod for immersion, and if you like the extra small little details, then we're sure you'll want to pick this one up. And that's the end of today's spotlight. As always, be sure to leave an endorsement if you enjoy any of today's two mods, and thanks for watching.